Hello, my name is Jake from Firestorm Games, and I'm here today with another Tabletop Spotlight. So today I have for you The Coldest Night. This is a cooperative game for one to four players, takes about 20 minutes to play. The theme of this game is that you are all scavenging for items around a, a ruined apocalyptic or war-torn city, town, etc. And you're trying to find things to burn, okay? So if the fire goes out, you all lose. It's as simple as that, you are trying to stay warm through the night. In your turn, you have a choice. You can scavenge for more cards, where you draw the top three, and you can keep them all, or you can distribute them out, however you see fit. Or you can play cards. So this is where the, the meat and potatoes of the game is. On a card, it's got a flame value, so that's how much it contributes towards the strength of the fire, and it's got an ash value. So to play a card, you have to have the fire being strong enough or warm enough to burn this card. So this example here, the shoes, the fire has to be at least three strength to chuck them in, but there's other ones for like sevens and eights, so you have to have a really, really roaring fire to be able to burn, uh, I think it's a diary and things like that. When you play a card, some of them are blank, other ones have abilities on them. If they have a red text, then that is an obstacle, so it's a negative effect. So chucking the shoes in means that it actually burns more out of the fire. Other ones give boons. Quite often that's letting you pick which items to get rid of that turn, instead of the, the oldest disappearing. Or it can give you these tokens, and they're one-shot abilities, and you can do things like wrap something in alcohol so it burns a bit brighter, a bit warmer for the whole time it's in the fire. This is a constant battle of trying to keep on top of the fire whilst gaining enough cards. You get one per turn, but uh, the fire can only hold four cards. So every turn you'll play at least one card, and the back card will drop off. If you choose to scavenge, then you'll only have three cards left in the fire. And if the fire isn't full, so four cards into your turn, you draw one of these frostbite cards. And these are negative events. They range from in-game effects, like not being able to draw cards or pass cards, to more generic penalties, like not being able to talk to each other. Nobody can talk to you whilst you are suffering from hypothermia. You get rid of the frostbite cards by the fire being the exact right amount at the beginning of your turn, so other people can stoke it to the correct value to get rid of your hypothermia if you want to. I love this game. It was a, a bit of an odd one when I decided to pick it up. I wasn't really sure what drew me to it. I think it was the cooperative aspect to do a little co-op. But it's really hard. Uh, we've played this a dozen times. We haven't won yet. And that's quite rare. We, we play a lot of co-ops. And this one is still foxing us. And to be honest, that's a sign of a good game for me. I absolutely love it. It's in stock now at Firestorm Games.co.uk. Links are in the description below.